Keeping law enforcement safe when a suspect's barricaded. Agents across North Carolina are using tactical robots to help officers see what's happening before they enter a room. Now, Fox 8's Caroline Boyer got to see one of those robots in action today at the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office. So, Caroline, how does this work? You know, Katie, the robot is controlled by a remote. It has a camera on it that feeds back video to a screen so deputies can see what the robot sees. The SWAT commander didn't want me to film the robot for security reasons. It's very small, about a foot long and a few inches high. Using the remote, deputies can control the angle and direction of the camera to give them an idea of what they're walking into. Where the suspect is, is he armed, is he not armed, are they, you know, is there weapons inside the room where he's at? Those questions answered by robots similar to this one, which law enforcement can send into a room before going in themselves. And that just helps you plan on, okay, what, if we have to make an entry, how can we do this safely? to keep the officer safe and the suspect safe. Raleigh police used this technology last week to see the 15-year-old gunman who was cornered in a barn after officers say he shot and killed five people. This radio traffic gives us an idea of what they could see using that robot. His gun is laying in his lap, so he is the closest to the road. Doors are open. Can you tell his status? He is sitting down, his legs are out, His gun is in his lap. Departments across the state have similar technology like Greensboro Police, the State Bureau of Investigation and Randolph County Sheriff's Office. This video shows one of those robots in action in Randolph County. A deputy pushes buttons and moves a joystick to make the robot pick something up off the ground. These robots range in size, price and ability. Forsyth County leaders purchased a new robot two years ago for about $3,500. Lieutenant Sammy Petticourt says his team uses it often, sometimes to help de-escalate a situation. We can put it in. We got someone on a um, on a PA intercom system talking back and forth. They say, "Okay, they can see me now and hear me." Maybe sometimes that opens up a dialogue. Always to protect law enforcement. It's a little insurance, knowing that you know putting the robot in before the team goes in just to make sure it's safe. Lieutenant Petticor tells me the robot, along with drones and the real-time intelligence center in Forsyth County, help deputies get information much faster than before. That helps them save more lives. Neil.